Hello again. Following on from the last tutorial where I changed the color of this coat to black, um, it occurred to me that some people will say, well actually I'd, I'd like to know how to make it bright yellow or lime green or blue or something. Um, so there is a, a really great quick and easy method to do that which also doesn't require much in the way of, uh, well anything in the way of selection skills. So uh, let's run through it. Pick your lasso tool. Or if you're American, you'll be laughing at me and saying it's lasso. Anyway, again, a very rough selection. Again, I'm using a trackpad here, so there's um, no accuracy involved whatsoever. Just making sure I encompass the, uh, the red coat. Um, <clears throat> so this time, instead of going to the black and white adjustment layer, we need to click on the hue and saturation. Now, we just want to affect the red coat. So click on the master button and go to reds in the drop down menu. Now, what will happen here if we start to adjust the red? You can see straight away the hue, we can make any color we like. But what happens is these areas here. Are also affected. If you look down on this, um, th these color strips at the bottom, you see. If you look closely, there are teeth on them. Um, well, they look like teeth to me anyway. Um, what this is is, when you choose reds, Photoshop's kind of encompassing all the reds uh, generally, and there's some latitude either side. Um, you can hone in on exactly the color that you want by sliding these teeth more towards the middle. So, oops. There, got the right tooth. You see what happened then, it um, did a great job of the edges there because it's just taken away all the colors that weren't the target color. Um, and you can see now, you can have a horrendous lime green coat, uh, aqua through to orange, which could look quite well in that sort of autumn-y colour scene. Um, any colour we want, basically. It's all there. Just go for yellow for now. Don't know why. <laughs> Um, you might find that you just need to grab your paintbrush tool and um, paint with black. Again, we're on a white mask, so we need to paint with black anywhere where you think there was some red, perhaps skin tone, that you just need to make sure you bring back. Let's try on the face. I think we're all good there. Um, but that's it. Amazingly quick, very easy, and uh, I love it. That's it. See you next time.